Hi, I'm Ben Mares. I'd like to demonstrate a simple serial infrared transceiver I built, which uses a Raspberry Pi and $2 worth of components. First, let me briefly explain the serial port on the Raspberry Pi. There are two pins, transmit and receive. Given a common ground between two devices, data flows out of transmit and into receive in the form of a square wave. For many devices, the amplitude of the square wave ranges between minus 15 volts and plus 15 volts. The Raspberry Pi is peculiar because the height of the square wave for the Raspberry Pi ranges from 0 volts to 3.3 volts. So you'll fry your Raspberry Pi if you hook it up to another device without first converting the voltage. I get nervous when connecting components with different voltages, so I figured I'd see if I could pass data over infrared to minimize the chances of something going wrong. What I have here is a simple proof of concept. Instead of two devices, I'm using a single Raspberry Pi and connecting transmit to receive. If you have two Raspberry Pis, then you can simply double this setup. Hook transmit on one to receive on the other, and vice versa. Now, on to the demonstration. Here is my Raspberry Pi with a GPIO breakout board. Using a wire, I've directly connected the transmit and receive. On my computer, I'm connected to the Raspberry Pi over Wi-Fi via SSH and I'm running Minicom, which is a terminal serial program. When I type something, it simply echoes to the terminal, but it's actually traveling through this black wire as a square wave. If I disconnect the wire, then there's no signal, hence no echo. What I have on the other side of this board is going to convert this electrical square wave into infrared light and back. I'm going to connect my infrared LED via this red wire to transmit. I'm going to connect the photoresistor via this green wire to receive. Now when I type, I don't see anything. There are two problems. The first is due to the overhead light. If I make a shadow, then I get data when I type, but it's gibberish. The second problem is the baud rate, which is the frequency of the square wave in Hertz. It defaults to 115,200. I need to reduce the baud rate to 9,600. Okay, so now when I make a shadow, I get clear data again. So it's fun to corrupt the signal and see what characters appear. You can then compare them with the binary code of the corrupted character and see which bits got messed up. So here's the letter A, and you can see some capital A's and the at symbol among the characters. So the circuit itself is extremely simple. On the LED side, I have the LTE302 infrared LED in series with a 330 ohm resistor between transmit and ground. Um, the resistor simply limits the current through the LED. On the phototransistor side, I have the LTR301 phototransistor connected to 3.3 volts on the anode, and then the cathode is pulled down to ground via 10 kilo ohm resistor. Receive is then connected between the phototransistor and the resistor. In darkness, the phototransistor has a resistance much bigger than 10 kilo ohms, so voltage goes to ground. With light, the resistance of the phototransistor drops far below 10 kilo ohms, sending a high signal to receive. The only thing to remember when assembling the circuit is that on both the LED and phototransistor, the short pin is the cathode and goes towards ground. The long pin is the anode and goes towards positive. The procedure for setting up Minicom depends on your Raspberry Pi model and is covered in several online how-tos.
The main issue is that by default in Raspbian, the serial port is occupied by, by a command line terminal. This needs to be disabled so that Minicom can access the port. Okay, that's all. Hope this was helpful. Have fun.